children's story is actually what happened when I was a little boy back in Korea. So uh, I'm going to actually, when I go, you can actually see that story and it will kind of help you. So, do you know what that building is? Yes, That's a church. Right now I have a drone flying up there. I'm just kidding. Oh, this, <laughs> this is actually from a, uh, a Googler. So I'm going to kind of take a sort of a time travel, or almost like a... So I'm going to kind of fly up higher and higher and higher. You can see the church building is getting smaller and smaller. Smaller and smaller and smaller. And now we see that... Uh, so you see, I went, so to, to go to Korea, so you have to ta take the plane from Orlando. So there's Orlando right there, so we'll go towards Korea. <laughs> And then from there, we will fly to Atlanta, Georgia. From Atlanta, Georgia, then we'll fly a long flight, about 14 hour flight. So go a long way. Long, keep going, keep flying. And then we'll cross over the Pacific Ocean. Still have a long way to go. So now you can see the little Japan here. You can see North Korea, but we don't want to go there accidentally. That would be good. <laughs> So then we are here, South Korea. So I go right there. Then I'm going to actually show you. Again, if we keep blowing it up, so we're getting even closer. You can see this is actually Seoul. That's the capital of South Korea. And I grew up right outside of South uh, Seoul. So I go a little deeper. You can see the I get G U R I Kuri. That's the city I was born and raised. So it's right next to Seoul. So if I go deeper, deeper, <clears throat> that arrow is pointing where my parents are living now. Right there. I go deep. So um, you can actually see that this red shaded area is uh, Adventist University is there. And then I went to a high school right next to it. Adventist High School right there. And then my parents live right there, so I used to kind of walk to the school. It's about like two miles. Mm -hmm. But then, let's see right there, that's the house. Now it's, they are all developed. They bulldoze everything, and now uh, like, they are modern buildings. But when I was growing up, uh, we actually had a dairy farm. Uh, my parents had a dairy farm. And uh, unfortunately, this kind of forgive me that I'm dealing with this topic, but um, Cows produce a lot of uh, waste. <laughs> waste. So then I had to get used to help my parents once in a while to kind of clean that. And they really produce a lot of waste. And then there is a system <clears throat> where uh, I guess they call it a septic tank, I guess. Um, so yeah, that's kind of, you know, all these, uh, you know, the cow waste, the cows. <laughs> so they were all gather in there. So let's see. I'm gonna give you a background. And then my parents and the dairy farm had dogs. Actually, a dog and also the puppies. That we always had a puppies like that. So there's a mommy dog and there are puppies. I used to. I named the dog always Candy. I'm not sure why, but I always named Candy. And so Candy has many like children, puppies. And let's see. Uh, this is me when I was oh, I think we also one year old. Um, you can see that this is not so modern. Uh, it's much like, you know, you can the, the dairy farm, this is my um, the house I was I grew in, I was raised in, and then the, the dairy farm is like farther away about a quarter mile away. And you can actually see it from here. So let's see. And you can actually tell that the house is very old. And let's see, this is another picture uh, of me. And I'm not quite sure who that girl is. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the dairy farm is like. I'm sorry. Oh, maybe. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, but then because the house was old, you know, one day they decided to build a new house. They said build a new house. And my parents were really busy. Uh, also, my mom was kind of making the meals for the construction workers, and my father was also kind of helping them and you know, building a new house. But then, while they were busy, K 
candy cane, uh, you know, ran the half of you know, a quarter mile from the dairy farm, uh, came to my father and started barking at my father. Because he, I wonder why. So, um, previous, and then he thought that in, in, you know, maybe the cows got out of the fence. So he was, oh, you know what, maybe I should go out and check. So he walked to the area where he can actually see, to the point where he can see the cows. And then he saw all the cows, they were all in the fence. So I was like, oh, I don't know, they're all in there. It's no big deal. So he turned around and started, let's see, he turned around, he kind of started walking back to the construction site. But then, Candy started barking again. So then, so then so it was interesting how Kenny was barking. So he was almost like the Kenny was trying to lead my father somewhere. So each time my father turned around, Kenny barked again. So then, okay, seems like Kenny's trying to take me somewhere. So then, when Kenny took my dad to, is this septic tank full of dirty people matter? And then, okay, why is he taking me there? And then he looked down, and there was one of his, or the, the candy's puppies, fell in the septic tank. And uh, I couldn't get out. How many of you like to swim in the septic tank? So, my father uh, bent down and then rescued the puppy, and then they were all happy. <laughs> So the lesson uh, I learned is uh, how did Candy know that he can he needed help that he can't do it on her own and uh, um, you know that's kind of where I learned the lesson that uh, you know when you get into I guess a trouble or you need to know you know you need help you can ask your parents or grandparents but most importantly you can um, ask God so maybe Brad do you mind reading do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. Philippians 4 6. Alright, and you would like to pray? Do you want to hear what you want to pray? What do you want to pray? Lord Jesus, thank you for this wonderful day in the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you.